This is called Qissatul Irashiyi. Remember we're talking about the animosity of Abu Jahl, and I'm going to mention this last story to show you how his animosity was. Ibn Ishaq mentions, he says, وَقَدْ كَانَ عَدُوُ اللَّهِ أَبُو جَهْلٍ إِبْنُ هِشَامٍ مَعَ دَوَتِهِ لِرَسُولِ اللَّهِ Abu Jahl, he used to hate the Prophet a lot. Very much. Listen to this story. Ibn Ishaq mentions, قَدِمَ رَجُلٌ مِنْ إِرَاشٍ A man came from Irash. Irash, it's a بَطْنٌ مِنْ قَبِيلَةِ خَثْعَمْ Okay, he's from the people of Khatham. That's what Sahibu Arawdul Unuf as Suhaini mentions. He's from the, one of the tribes in the Arab region. He came with a camel bi'ibilin ila Makkah. He had a camel to Makkah, with Makkah. He sold, so he had a camel meaning on top of that camel there were products. He was a seller, he was a merchant. He was selling the products that were on it. So he sold to Abu Jahl. What did Abu Jahl do? Abu Jahl took it and didn't give him back his money. Abu Jahl did him bad. This man, because he's not the people of the land, he felt violated. So what did he do? He walked into the gathering of where the heads of Quraysh were sitting. He walked in and then he said to them, Ya ma'ashara Quraysh, or the people of Quraysh, Mar rajulun you dini who is going to be his, he wants to put his case forward to Quraysh who is going to يعني, من يؤديني, meaning من يعينني, who's going to aid me and support me ala Abi al-Hakam Abu Jahl's name used to be called Abu al-Hakam the father of the wise right but then the prophet called him Abu al-Jahl and so he became known for with what Abu al-Jahl Abu Jahl so he, this man said, who's going to help me from uh, Abu Jahl and what he's done to me? فَإِنِّي رَجُلٌ غَرِيبٌ I am a stranger. Ibn Sabin, I am a traveler. وَقَدْ غَلَبَنِي عَلَى حَقِّي And he has overcome me. He's trying to take my rights from me. Who's going to help me? The people in the gathering, they all laughed. They're not going to help you. They're Abu Jahl's friends. But Nabila Muhammad was not far. He was there praying, alayhi salatu wasalam. Some of you looked there when I said that. No, I, I meant in the story. So the Prophet he was praying close by. So they wanted to make a mockery and a joke out of the situation. This innocent man putting his case forward, who was just robbed, broad daylight. They said to him, go to that man over there. His name is Muhammad. Tell him to help you over Abu Jahl. Now we all together. And they know that the Prophet and Abu Jahl's situation. So they said, you go and talk to him and he will get you your rights. This man doesn't know who Nabi Muhammad is, doesn't know what the situation is. He goes, okay. He goes to the Prophet, sits in front of the Prophet Sallallahu He says, Ya Abdullah, the slave of Allah. And he's referring to him as a slave of Allah. He doesn't even know his name. A man by the name of Abu Abul Hakam uh, Ibn Hisham, he has taken my rights. I am a stranger, I am a traveler, he has taken my rights. I asked those people to help me over there, and they said to me, you can do something for me. Can you help me please? Can you get me my rights? The Prophet said, okay, come with me. Come with me. Quraysh were watching, so they, somebody, someone who was with them, from those who were serving them their drinks and everything, they said, stop, stop, stop. Go, go see what they do. Bring us the story of what happens, okay? Go and see what happens. And bring us the story of what happens. So the boy went, he followed the Prophet and this man, this stranger, this uh, traveler, and the Prophet went together, and this man is at the back following. The Prophet knocks on the door of Abu Jahl with force. Abu Jahl comes, he says, Man, hada, who is it? The Prophet says, Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Fakhruj ilayya, come out to me. Fakharaj ilayhi, he comes out. Wa ma fi wajhi qatra tu damin. When he came out, his face was pale one time. As soon as he foresaw the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 
he, the Prophet then said to him, A'ti haqahu. Give this man his rights. Faqal Abu Jahl. Abu Jahl said, Naam. Okay, give me a second. He went in, got the money out, and gave it to the man. The third man is right at the back, he's watching. He, everything goes off. He runs to Quraysh and he tells them what happened. Said, it was simple. Muhammad just knocked the door, told him, give him his money. And the guy got his money. No argument, nothing. The Prophet then said to the man, Take your, is that your money, ha? Go. Ilhaq ila sha'nika. Go towards your, your affairs. Go do what you have to do. Then he said to him, Jazakallahu khairan, may Allah reward you with good. You've given me my rights. Then Abu Jahl came to the gathering uh, a few hours later, sat down. They said, listen, what happened? He's, they said, what do you mean? He said, what do you mean? Muhammad came, knocked at your door, and he brought a man to you, and you didn't argue, you just gave the money. And then Abu Jahl said to them, Waylakum, destruction be to all of you guys. Muhammad didn't come by himself. And this man was not by himself. There was more that came with him. When he knocked my door, I was scared of what they're gonna to do to me. That's why I just gave the money quickly to make it easy for myself. Sallallahu alayhi wasallam.